The thing that have been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun, including technology. There's a lot of ancient technology which was hid from the world by Esau Edom. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Shai by Hashem Rakhak Badash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, among the heathen nations that look like the heathen nations, and to the Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolma with the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And uh, this is a lesson I've been meaning to do for a couple days. I watched the video. The one that's on the screen is called 12 Most Mysterious Ancient Technology Scientists Still Can't Explain. And the reason being that, you know, the Lord didn't give everything to Esau. And that's evidence is you can you can watch this video. Once again, it's called the, because someone's going to ask. <laughs> It's called the 12 most mysterious ancient technology scientists still can't explain. All right. That's what it's called. And it's on YouTube. All right. And, um, you know, they, they talk about coincidences and coincidences uh, to try to justify certain things happening. All right. And there's no there's no there's no coincidences. And, you know, this technology was made. And like I said, there were there was light in some of the pyramids. It was it's shown that they had some form of uh, electrical power, uh, water irrigation systems, plumbing systems, all these things. And um, and as you can also see too, you can see the image of the Egyptian is actually brown skin, and they someone painted you know or drew the the uh, the desk and the printer and the the uh, what is that a uh, a fax machine. It looks like something is being faxed out of it and they're faxing Egyptian symbols. <laughs> so there really is no new thing under the sun. It, it's very, very true. Combs, brushes, teeth brushes, you know, makeup, uh, all that stuff. It's, it's nothing new under the sun. All right. Everything you see, you see me there. Were, the evidences of things that were on, on these different pyramids around the world, not just in, uh, in Giza, but around the world that, uh, that show that you had flight back then and that, and that flight was the chariots because there wasn't no planes flying around back then. All right. But uh, let's uh, play some of this video. All right. Ancestors had skills and abilities that we lack today. And this video contains all the proof that you'll ever need. In the middle of 2014, a team of archaeologists working at the historical site of Farash in Iran's Sayamara Dam Reservoir made a stunning discovery, a human-made water system that's more than 5,000 years old. Although the site is known as a dam, hence the clue in the name, the dam that stands there today is comparatively a recent creation. Nobody had any oh, idea you know. that it sat right on top of a much more ancient waterway and yet the pipes of that waterway are still there for all to see. Perhaps we shouldn't be so surprised. The ancient Persians were masters at building waterways and were capable of building aqueducts long before the Romans. Now, you have to also take into mind that the ancient Persians were, uh, were all people of color. All right? Because you're going to see them throw the white superiority uh blow in here like they always do okay let's try to find this definition have it on deck okay good all right um and you know so just beware of that that the people in the ancient world uh until esau edom was 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 on the scene there was no such thing as white people all right so all this ancient technology that they found it wasn't built but it was built way before the greeks as a matter of fact, Greeks had slaves of the, the melanated nations that were building everything for them. All right. You know, the uh, the whole Hollywood uh, lie when they show you 
white gladiators and, and white slaves and stuff that was uh, so-called white. There's no such thing as white, but, um, you know, that was often fabricated. The people that were the, the people in the Colosseums in the ancient world were the same peoples that you see in the Colosseums today. Very few of them were actually collectively uh, so-called white men. The majority of them were melanated men, mostly Jacob, mostly mostly Israelites. And you see the same ones who dominate the arenas in America and around the world uh, today is Jacob, whether it be boxing, kickboxing, soccer, you know, or, you know, that form of football, American football, basketball, baseball, you know, what you're going to see mostly there is uh, <clears throat> Judah and Jerusalem, northern and southern kingdom. This waterway isn't an aqueduct, but it's an impressive system of pipes connecting a small pool to the site of an old settlement across a long distance. The pipes appear to have been made from mud baked and shaped in the region. The biggest problem facing the archaeologists now is that they have a race against time to excavate the entire pipeline before the new dam is filled and the old system is flooded forever. Fans of classic movies may already be familiar with the Boca della Verita from its appearance in the movie Roman Holiday in 1953, which starred Aubrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck. In the film, this enormous ancient stone, the name of which translates as the Mouth of Truth, is said to be able to tell when someone is telling lies. And that looks like the tree god that was in uh, Game of Thrones, that there's certain particular sect of people were praying to. All they have to do is place their hand inside the mouth of the sculpture and speak. If they tell a lie, the mouth is supposed to snap shut and sever their hand. Some people believe the story was just made up from the film, and that the stone is nothing more than an ancient and ornate drain cover. But who would go to the trouble of carving the face of the mighty sea? If you're thinking about buying oh, solar great. panels, got to be don't. Kidding me. The U.S. government will literally buy them for you. He got Oceanus in a simple drain cover. And why? We prefer to believe the legends associated with the 2,200-year-old marble disc. Which See, they prefer to believe see they don't you know Esau Eden really doesn't deal in, in facts all right they don't most as a matter of fact most of their existence and that most of their science that exists today is all based upon theory and guesses and the word science simply means knowledge or to know all right so you know it's like uh, I like to use example if you're going to replace blinds or you're going to replace windows. You have to actually have to take measurements. You can't look at it and guess. Although there could be some experts who do it so much, they can they can come pretty close on average, but they wouldn't do a job where it's going to cost thousands of dollars uh, based upon guesses. They're going to have to measure, which means you know that is an accurate science. All right, to know. And what they do is they take a lot of things and they they make guesses, and then they call that science. It's not a guess. You know. A theory and a thesis is not is not a, a, a hypothesis, which is a, a guess. That is not science, all right? And that's how these people operate. As a matter of fact, let me think about Job 13 and 4. Might as well get it. Since we said that, it's the book of Genesis, Job 13 and 4. Um, and it reads... Um, but yeah, forgers of lies, you are all physicians of no value. All right. So they just, you know, let me grab another one, which literally calls them out on their pseudoscience, which is used a tremendous amount of pseudoscience is used in America, you know, especially these days. But this is first Timothy, uh, 6 and 20 and it reads oh timothy keep that which is committed to thy trust avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called all right so false science and guesses you can't you can't take that and and then say what you choose to believe in and then put it in your uh, your books and teaching in school that's not teaching accurately which claim that the story in the movie is actually based on an ancient truth Forget Jerry Springer's lie detectors. This statue was sorting truth from lies thousands of years before Jerry was born. 
A little over 4,000 years ago, a brand new pigment was invented in ancient Egypt. Now, here we go. A brand new pigment. Now, that guy there on the right, you know, he, he you know, he's a little bit melanated, but this guy on the left is playing as Ramsey. Well, you saw the beginning, right? During the time of, uh, 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 of the, you know, of Moses, when the Israelites were in Egypt, there were no, there was no so-called white people in, 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 in Egypt. Alexander of Macedon, after he died, you know, almost, a, you know, almost a thousand years later, um, after Moses died, Alexander uh, came and took over, you know, modern day Europe um, and, 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 and Egypt. They, as a matter of fact, they named uh, the great library in, in Egypt, Alexandria. They named it after him. All right. And then he set up... Uh, was it Seleucus or Demetrius? I forget which one. But one of his four generals that you read about after the Edomites took over that part of the world. Right? And that was that was almost a thousand years after. That was generations and generations after Moses. Alright? So for them to, this is this is straight up racism and hatred because they refuse to show uh you the truth. I mean, there are images of the, the Sphinx, and you can clearly see those Afrocentric, you know, those hermetic features on the Sphinx, even to this day, even with his lips and nose destroyed purposely, not by accident. They did that purposely. You know, there's a, uh, there's a rumor about, uh, about Napoleon Bonaparte. All right. Which they, they tried to deny that he, you know, they say that he, uh, that he blasted the, uh, the nose and the lips off. And then they say that that's just an urban, uh, rumor. But it's just so coincidental that, you know, the, the evidences that are, that present and prove uh, who people are and what people are is often removed or changed, especially when it comes to Hollywood. As a matter of fact, let me grab that definition of coincidental. Now I remember perfectly why. And it says coincidental, uh, coinciding, concurrent, co-occurrent co-occurring simultaneous, all right, um, occurring or operating at the same time. That's, you know, so basically it's just so coincidental that, you know, like when you go to Deuteronomy uh, uh, 23 and 7, that the word uh, Edom uh, replaced the word Syrian. So thou should not abhor a, a Syrian. And then you have to go digging into the Strongs to, you know, to find the proof of that, you know, how many people are actually going to do that? No, they're just going to read, thou should not abhor an Edomite, and then they're going to run with it, all right? And if the, as if that one scripture is going to counter all the scriptures that, that tell you that the Lord hates the Edomites, and that, and then, you know, and that the Edomites have no chance of salvation, that they're, and that they're going to be destroyed, they haven't been destroyed yet, that's another lie. So everything that exposes Esau, Edom, they just conveniently, it's just a coincidence that that's a myth or that's not real or that doesn't mean that, you know, black means black and they call someone black, except for in the Bible. In the Bible, <laughs> it didn't really mean that, you know. Um, But let's let them continue. Today we call it Egyptian blue and it was originally developed to adorn a crown on a famous bust of Nefertiti. We have no way of knowing whether the chemists who came up with it were aware of what they were doing at the time. And there you see now, this is after after being after uh, light and destruction. I can only imagine. And this is a, this is a bronze color, you know, almost the color of a penny. So this was not a so-called white person on the actual relics that's on the wall. But hold on, let's go back a sec. Pigment go. was invented in ancient Egypt. So there we go. Looks nothing like that. Like this guy. Well, that was Christian Bale. Today we call it Moses. Egyptian. All right, this is supposed to be Moses right here. All right. Blue. And it was originally developed to adorn a crown on a famous bust of Nefertiti. Now, just, uh, uh, let's see if I can pull it up. I think it was like in 2019. There was a.
uh, 5,000-year-old um, Yeah, 5,000 year old, uh, uh, I think it was 2019. Tomb that was unearthed. And um, it showed you everyone in there to be chocolate. All the images. All right. Yep, I think this is the tomb. Thanks to J.B. Prisker, I'm Please saving money him. on my everyday expenses, such Man as the hell groceries and gas. I give a damn about J.B. Then they show back to back, I man. Eat, sleep, and breathe efficiency. I'm looking for... If ancient Egypt was your favorite history subject at school, then we've got a treat for you. Yeah, this exciting area was full of wow, mysteries. okay. It they want to duck and dodge and make it hard to find. Ah, here we go. Untouched. Now let's take a look. In Egypt have made a new tomb discovery, the final resting place of a high priest, untouched for four. Now untouched foot, but look, if it's untouched, why is his nose and lips completely chipped off? And even though you can't hide the afro, that's what this 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 type of carving for the head and the, was representation of. People who had afros, okay, but his but his facial features are completely destroyed. If it was untouched, it didn't get buried that way, it would still be that way. All right? It was buried, so there's no wind damage or nothing. Okay? But let's... 4,400 years, decorated with hieroglyphics. The high priest was devoted to his mother. We can stop right there. You can see his dark skin, and they they try to still try to chip away at his face. All right. Okay, his burial shafts and tunnels located in the Giza complex discovered, mentioned prominently, you know, by uh, by Salem Hassan. So he did. He was a matter of fact when they first uh, started doing digging. I think it was it was between like 1850 and 1940 when they started these, and one of the first was uh, Salem Hassan. All right. And in his excavations at Giza in 1933, 1934, uh, you know, they, they, you see all this black and white imagery uh, of the Sphinx, but you can clearly see that the Sphinx have features just like these people. That's why they tried to carve, carve the nose and the ears away. I mean, the nose and the lips away because they wanted to truly hide their, their, uh, those uh, hermetic, those African uh, features. Okay. And you can even see that uh that blue that he's talking about. You know, if you look around his belt line, it's like a bird or something on his belt. You can see that. Okay? So, you know, you just can't believe any anything that these people say. And then that claim, you know, they, they say that that was not true what happened with um uh with Napoleon Bonaparte in 1797. Um I believe it is true, you know. They say it isn't true, but I believe it is true because you can clearly see that the there was damage done to the uh, to the to the to the to, to the lot of these when especially when it comes to Egyptian art because they had they that you know this this truth uh, destroys all the lies of white superiority which was really being pushed hard in the late 1800s you know uh, early 1900s it was really being pushed hard. Um, and even around the 1930s, you know, in in uh, in Germany, Jesse Owens, you know, showed Hitler and the world that his Nazis, you know, <laughs> that white people clearly weren't the superior race. And that's been shown over and over. Hell, Jack Johnson was doing it around the turn of the century, you know, shows you that white men clearly are not the superior. All right. And Jack Johnson, they hated him so much because he, all, he had all those those white women to just go to so-called white women that... Uh, you know, women gravitate toward power, right? And that was a, one amazing man. I'm going to do a lesson on him one of these days. Um, he invented tools and everything else. He raced cars on top of uh, being a professional boxer, being a badass dude <laughs> that none of these uh, Edomites could beat, you know? And it, as a matter of fact, uh, one wrench that's, that's in all toolboxes is a monkey wrench. And that was an invention of Jack Johnson. But I thought we were inferior. And this, as a matter of fact, many of the inventions that were invented 
that made life easy in America were invented by so-called black people. You know, we the stove, the 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 uh, the refrigeration, you know, air conditioning, the engine, you know, radiators, the the third rail, the the elevated rail, the elevator, you know, microwaves. Hell, as a matter of fact, the most used thing in today's technology is GPS. Even that was invented by a so-called uh, black woman. But, you know, white superiority would tell you that <laughs> something completely opposite. Well, it, what it does is it, it proves white superiority to be a complete and total lie. And so does this. So this is Psalms 85 and 11, and it reads, Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. So this truth springing out of the earth, this just destroys uh, the white lies. All right. And, and, and like we said, you know, uh, white people, the few Edomites that were around were very low. And, and as a matter of fact, it looks like. Because if there was no sunlight hitting this, this was covered up. This looks like a so-called white servant right here at work, a slave. So, you know, and the Egyptians were known to be slavers and enslaved the Israelites. Or it just could be, you know, I don't know, because right here you see these dark ones and they're starting to, they're faded up too. So maybe it was just these, maybe these were just the Hebrews right here in slavery that was building everything. Um, but nevertheless, you remember, remember the Israelites came up, you know, Moses hid and was, was born and raised in the house of Pharaoh. So you're looking at the Pharaohs. You know, that other video with, you know, the pharaohs didn't look like Christian Bale. That's an outright racist and hateful lie for them to do that. All right. One last scripture, you know, wrap this up. This is uh, Deuteronomy 33 and 29. <laughs> One of my favorites. And it reads, Happy art thou, o Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by Yahweh, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. Thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. And so we're treading upon their false history. You know, uh, they want to complain about CRT. No, this isn't theory. It's it's critical race historical facts, just like the uh, the channel is named. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakhak Wadash Wa Ababa Ba Kwam Yashirala Shalom.